time moves very fast in the garden, especially when you find yourself with other things on the go and you've, it's a very delicate balancing act to make sure that you get everything done. And that's where I've been for the last few months. I'm sure many of you are aware that I haven't been here since May uh, doing any art updates. So welcome to a very belated update from the garden. I've had some great crops and I've also had some not so great crops. And in today's video, I'm just going to expand a little bit on what's been going on on the plot. I'm going to give you a nice insight into the last few months of growth. I'll show you what's going on at the moment and we'll look forward to what's going to happen over the next few weeks. Let's start the video off on a really positive note. Back in February, you might remember that I did a video about my broad beans. Uh, quite a few of them got diseased um, because I was silly. I watered them, I left a cover on them and I went away for a week and they just all got diseased and mouldy. A few of them survived, so I mixed them all together and I had roughly about 20 plants, 20 broad bean plants that I planted outside and I actually got quite a good harvest this year. It wasn't a month's worth of food, but it was enough for two weeks at least. And I still have one bag that I've saved in the freezer, which I'll use uh, probably later on in the month. I'm really impressed with my leeks this year. Very impressed. They look fantastic. Another really positive note is the pumpkins. I had great grand ideas about growing lots of different pumpkins this year and I had quite a few varieties on the go. Unfortunately, because June was quite a non-starter, it was really cold nights, I delayed planting out my pumpkins, quite a few of them got hit by the slugs, and then just everything seemed to fizzle out. The only pumpkins that actually survived were the ones I decided to sow on a whim. So I had some musky de Provence seeds from last year from my pumpkins as I was using them, I planted them into pots, I grew them on, and I managed to get two pumpkin plants out of that. And now, amazingly, I have about the same amount of pumpkins this year as I did last year, growing about four or five vines, which is testament to the soil, the compost I put down back in November. Really good green compost. And we'll touch on that in another video later in the month. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and see more of my videos and see my journey as I learn to grow more of my own food, you can hit the subscribe button down here. And if you're enjoying this video so far, why not give it a like down below? Areas that I really need to improve on for next year, definitely brassicas. Um, the routine brassicas, so things like turnips and swedes, they're looking really good in the bottom plot. I'm quite amazed. I harvested a turnip that was the size of my head the other day. Uh, again, I think that's testament to the soil, although the broccoli, cauliflowers and cabbages just haven't done very well at all. And that is mostly because of the slugs. So I've got some new plans now. I know what to do to sort of keep the slugs at bay coming into next year and I'll be doing more of that as well. Yes, areas of improvement definitely cabbages, cauliflowers and broccoli. They're really hard things to grow. I don't know if any of you have trouble with that. Drop me a comment in the comment box below if you still struggle to grow those leafy greens. There are so many more vegetables that I want to grow next year and I just kind of ran out of time to do that this year really. I think a lot of things have been going on around the allotment and uh, it's just been a struggle to kind of keep on top of things. However, the plants have done well considering and I've still got lots of tomatoes to pick in the polytunnel. I've got quite a few crops, winter crops coming in to the, uh, the allotment. And I've also got plants that I'm harvesting still into hopefully January and February. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope whatever you're doing in your gardens, you've managed to get a good crop, a good harvest in this year. Let me know in the comments below what's been really good for you this year and what hasn't been quite as good for you as you'd hoped. I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to check out any more of my videos from earlier in the year, you can see them here.